Hi everyone, it's Tama from Align for Life Counseling and today I want to touch um, on our little video chat just on the fact that there is really hardly ever an ideal self. So often clients come to me and they, and I know from myself, you sort of want to reach some sort of an ideal in your life. Um, but this very seldom actually exists and um, we've got to learn as we mature and we all have seen that we've got to take the good with the bad and um, together with that concept is also that we're not always the same and I often speak about being aware of where you're at stopping and becoming aware of your emotions becoming aware of how you're reacting and part of that would also be breeding a sense of awareness of your mood and um, that's not so hard it's very easy to find that you're feeling low it's very easy to find that you're excited that you're creative that you almost courageous and brave for any eventuality when you're feeling high lowness might be because of um, tiredness frustration anger sadness um, all of those emotions would give you sort of a sense of having a low mood so what happens in a mood like that? Uh, lots of things happen in our relations to other people. For instance, in a low mood, uh, you seem to think, maybe subjectively, that you are more right than normal. You have less grace with other people. And very often that's because you have less grace with yourself. You are less tolerant and you might blame and criticize more easily. In a high mood, the contrary happens. We are more open-minded and we're more excited and creative and we're agreeable. And it's a good time to have that conversation with the person that you need to uh, reasonably confront. And we find that things are just pretty easy. So how, how, um, how we handle these moods is what we want to talk about today. So some people would say to you, and I've heard parents say this to their children, just snap out of your bad mood or just get over yourself. I personally think it's quite difficult, it doesn't work for me that easily, to snap out of a mood. Um, I think the better way to maybe think about that is, again, to be grateful for a high mood and to be graceful in a low mood. So that would just translate into um, having a little bit more patience with yourself. Firstly, you're going to be aware that you're in a low mood. And even when you're in a high mood, being aware that others around you might be in a low mood. And then actually affording them that grace that, um, that they need because of their low mood. Likewise, in a high mood, when it's time to be grateful, be grateful with others who are in a high mood, even if you don't feel that yourself. So just for this week, um, let's try and be aware again, more of our emotions, more of our moods this week. And uh, are they high? Are they low? And am I expecting an ideal self? Or am I able to just recognize the mood and then level it out with gratefulness and gracefulness? Have a fantastic week and chat next week. Bye.